We have three iron, is that all we have? Literally three iron. BULLSHIT! Yeah, we're back that guys, uh, we're, we're back guys with another recording. Ooh. Here we are. Um, I, I think that's all we iron. literally have. I think that is literally all we have uh, we shed. There was a lot of iron we used in the last episodes with um, with 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 just that bullshit. So uh, we got well, we got machines going. We got machines going. You fucking slap you with a bit of a uh, bit of a bit of beef there, just just for the funnies. Got beef. I have. I got raw beef. Look, we have got eighteen beefs in there. Eighteen beefs. I'm a bit. A bit wary, guys, because we've literally just updated to Solitary Craft version 5, believe it Ooh. or not. Uh, not a pre-release, not a pre-release, the actual release, Homer Simpson, the actual release. Uh, actual, actual. The actual release, uh, Solitary Craft 5. And I do apologise for anybody that was here for um, launch. Really, because there was a couple of a couple of little niggly problems that we had right at the start there, but it seems to have ironed itself out, and people seem to be playing it okay now. So, um, fingers crossed, everything goes well. Of course, there will be times where links are updated to mods. There's nothing I can do about that. When links are updated to mods, I will get the error log to say that you guys um, are having a problem connecting to a certain mod or getting a certain mod, and I will try my best to be able to sort that out. Failing that, you can send a message to the SRK. No, hang on a minute, that's not the right uh, address anymore. ATL, no, hang on a minute. <laughs> oh, come on, Tom, get, get it right. <laughs> your own flipping website, and you don't even know what you're doing. <laughs> ATLauncher.com, that's the one. www. I can't even say www. I've had too many beards. Too many right. beards. www.atlauncher.com. That's the bullshit, that's the bullshit. And uh, we, yeah, doing the job that you can. That's on there. Right. You can then click on the forums and go to Solid Craft. Any problems that you've got, just put them in there, and I will find them. Uh, but yeah, I honestly have had quite. This last week has just been absolutely rock solid with updates to this pack, making sure that everything is nice and spot on for you guys, down to every single last bit of detail. I've got two pet bat manuals here. I really don't need two things to tell me. I need to slap pumpkin pie on a stone I know. to attract right. bats. So I'm just going to enable utility mode here and delete and these them. because uh, oh, they do my head in. I already know what to do with them. And, uh, oh no, I've run out of chub. Oh, so have I. I just realised. I've actually run out of the status effect of chub. Now, if anybody doesn't know what chub is, it's coffee, really, but this it is the tea mod. It was mod. tea that we drank, yeah. actually. This <laughs> is, yeah. This is the tea mod, so it's the next best thing. I did actually make a request to the mod author to see if he would make coffee, and he said that he would, so we'll see what happens with that in the future. I would like to see chub. I really would like to see some chub. Right. Yep. Let's get that in there. Guess what Precious I'm doing. items. I want one of them brains in there. Uh, mining? No. What 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 are you doing then, boy? I guess what I'm doing then. I'll tell you what I'm doing. I, 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 I want guess. Jesus Christ! I've wasted half my life guessing. What? Chopping down trees. Oh, for crying out loud! Here we go again, guys. Here we go again with this pointless chopping down of trees. Clears the area. I found, I found more sugar cane. You see? More sugar cane because I was chopping down some trees. This big what old. about it if I weren't chopping down any trees? Well, look at this big hole that you you put here. That you put here, right, guys? I've got to actually uh, make a what? What's the word? Confession? Right now, I've turned two game rules on, which are the fact that creepers do still hurt when they blow up, but they don't actually hurt the terrain. Well, I don't really know. You can't really hurt terrain, can you? To be quite honest. Well, no. Oh, for crying out loud! Damage the terrain. I think is a better word. I need to um, update my lettuce or whatever it is from Pam's mods because I'm getting a big white crop and that's slightly annoying. Okay. Yeah, that is frustrating. Yeah, but am I? It'll be fine. I'll do that for next time we're recording. Yeah, and the other game rule that I updated was what was it? Um Keep inventory on death, that was the one. So if we die, we literally keep our inventory, which I think is a great invention. I really don't understand why that's not brought into Minecraft in the first place. Maybe it 
takes away from the danger of it. I don't really know, but I like the fact that when I die, I know I've still got my stuff on me. Especially like when you made that diamond pickaxe and then got knocked into lava. Exactly. That was slightly annoying, and I've got to say that I did have a look. Because, guys, right, I've got to actually say this off the bat here, that um, my lad, my, my seven-year-old, very nearly eight-year-old lad, is going to be joining us after Christmas on Solitarecraft. Only for a few, you know, only for a few episodes. Every, 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 blah, blah, here and there. But he is going to be joining us. To be quite honest, I don't like the idea that maybe he could inadvertently destroy half of our house from leading creepers towards us. So, I've decided to... Uh, yes. lose half of our stuff by dying with it. Uh, exactly. Exactly. And I don't particularly like the, th the, the thought of that happening. Especially after we've been on this for, what, a month or something it'll be before he joins us. So, yeah, he's getting a laptop for Christmas, but don't tell him that, because that'll, you know, spoil it. And then he won't it's believe well. in Santa Claus. And that'll be a shame. It's Santa that's getting him anyway, not you. It's all right. So, I've got a bit of, I've got a question for you, Shed. How long did it take for you to realise that uh, your mother was actually Santa Claus? Now, I do apologise for any younger viewers out there. It's pretty much tough. If you're watching this, then you really should be old enough to, uh, to appreciate the fact that Santa Claus isn't actually real. I do swear quite a lot, so... If you're, if you're younger, if you're of that age where you're still impressionable like that, then you really shouldn't be watching this video, to be quite honest. <laughs> Just put in the um, description for the video something like Christmas spoilers warning. That way you've yeah. warned people before. We'll they we'll didn't read the description, yeah, we'll it's their see. own fault. We'll see, we'll see. So come on, Hushet, how long? How long? How old were you? I actually do not know. I cannot remember. Now, I do have a di distinct memory of this. I do have a distinct memory of it. Now, YouTube are actually walking me, just watching me walk around aimlessly here. I will get to something, don't you worry, guys. But I have a distinct memory, uh, memory of being sat in... Uh, memory. Me murmur, murmury. Of being sat in the car with, with, my, with my stepdad, Pete. And um, I was sat there, and he says, Now then. Well, he didn't say that, but that's, you know what I mean. But it just, <laughs> in your words. <laughs> in paraphrase. Words, in, yeah, paraphrase. He says... Do you believe in Santa Claus? And I'm said, you know what, Dad? No, I don't. I think you know. At 13 years, I was 13 at this po at this point. At 13 years old, and it was a lot different in them days. You used to be able to believe in stuff a lot longer than what you can do nowadays because you know of like social media and shit like that that's got involved with everything. But never mind. Um, and I, I was 13, and I said, no, Dad, I don't believe. And it must have been a couple of years, you know, where I've actually thought to myself. Yeah, I really don't think that uh, this is real, and I so wish I'm I'm 26, right? I'm go I'm going on 27, very nearly 27 year old, and I so wish to believe in that shit again. You know what I mean? Mm. There was nothing yeah. better than waking up at three o'clock in the morning on Christmas Day and realizing you can't get up, but there's some presents downstairs that Santa Claus has left you. There was nothing better than that shit. There was nothing better than that shit. I know what you mean. You know what I mean? I know what you mean, bro. I know what I mean. And, and that's... I, I miss that shit. I really do miss that shit. And a lot of people say, you know, oh, I don't miss school or stuff like... Bullshit. Bullshit. I, I really <laughs> do. I miss school. I miss school. I miss the innocence of school. I miss all that crap. No pissing about with, like, jobs and bills and house and all that kind of crap. You just, you just can, you know, enjoy yourself. Just couldn't enjoy yourself when you were at school. It was all about homework and stuff, and I'd love to have that kind of bullshit again, to be honest. I'd love Instead to have spending that. about a week sat in front of your computer without moving. Exactly. What are you trying to say there? <laughs> but, yeah. Right, I've given the uh, Farmcraft table, the Farmcraft research table, some paper. I know that I've got a, a thermonomicon in here. Yes, I have. Brilliant stuff. Let's have a gander. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, that's right, I haven't even learned anything yet, because we haven't got the stuff to actually learn anything with. Nope. We, need to, go, with we need to go mining, that's the problem. Yep, yeah, we do indeed. We do. Um, which we will do sometime soon, because it's getting night now. Right now, then. What, now, then? Yes, now, then. I will meet you tree, in our... Tree chopping. 
Oh, that's one thing I haven't actually sorted out for release. Damn it. What? Button configs. What do you mean, button configs? Well, they'll be... I, I, I'll just have a quick gander here. I've just... Why have I named that map? You silly-ass clown. <laughs> I've just gone to my waypoint and then I've realised that there's going to be other buttons that are the same buttons as other things. Confused. I'll let you thought it. Yeah, I'll wait, yeah. yeah it'll be fine. No, um... Looking at this, if I press escape here and go to options, not video settings, I'm so used to doing that. Controls, there should got... be some red ones Sorry. here. Yeah, look, left control is zoom as well as the boost key from Industrial Craft. M is the mode switch key as well as the mode switch key. So I don't how. I don't. <laughs> eh? What? There's two different mode switch keys. Interesting. There is a side inventory key and an extra key, whatever that is. And they're all the same, as well as the pocket crafting table. So God knows what's going to happen. I think that the world might actually end when I press C. Because there's that <laughs> much stuff that's going to happen at the same time. It's going to be mad. Well, Brace you change you you the boost key to right control, don't Brace you? Brace yourself, Shad. Pardon? Look, it keeps going to waypoints. Fuck! <laughs> I knew I should have sorted this out. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind, I'll sort it for next time. Not too uh, and it's night time, quick. Now. Let's go. Let's go. Up this way. Well, it's down this way, actually. I yeah. always think it's up the map when I'm going this way. I don't know why, but it's just like this physical thing within my being. <laughs> Lit quite literally, I've cleared all this area of trees. I can see that, yeah. I've yeah. got like six stacks It used of to wood. be a lovely wooded area, and you've six destroyed it all. Six stacks of wood I've got you on me. You should be ashamed of yourself, boy. I'm ashamed of your face. Well, what do you mean you're ashamed of my face? Feelings mutual, boy. <laughs> good, I expect it would be. Fell down the <laughs> hole. Oh, that's not good, is it? Right, I'm going to get some of this silver here. And guys, my mod has hit another development stage. Not really much that's been going on, just the fact that uh, it's now... You don't have to breathe on my R, enable to, uh, you know, get it from the earth. It does take a little bit more work than that. <laughs> no longer can you just have a puff of breath, a puff of breath, the other way around, um, to get my R's. You actually do need an iron pickaxe, and it will take you as long as coal to mine. So there you go. Something for you there. I had a couple of suggestions from people off the. Well, I had one suggestion to be quite honest. Off um, <laughs> the people on the Minecraft forums, which was great. I will look at that and think whether or not it will totally unbalance the mod because I've tried to make it as balanced as I possibly can. You know, this mod, my mod, was particularly made for the fact that it was my pack and I wanted something that was. It's going to allow me to do certain things like what I was trying to do with my mod. So, it's balanced within my pack, I believe. But it might not be balanced with everybody else. To be quite honest. But I enjoy my mod pack. I think it's great. A lot of work has gone into Solid Craft 5. A lot of work has gone into the launcher, most definitely. And, uh, um... I'm really enjoying playing with it, I honestly am. What about you, Shed? Are you... Are you yeah, definitely. Are you enjoying Solid Craft? I am. What is your most um, favouritest part of all times? Well, I don't really know. We haven't really been playing it that long, have we, let's be honest. Well, you could say Cogs of the Machine, because that's practically well, yeah, all Cogs we've done, machine, so that I'm must loved, be your favourite. But, you know what I mean? <laughs> there's probably more in this mod pack that oh, there's I'll enjoy there than I've seen so far, that's what I mean. Yeah, there's an absolute ton of stuff to get to. But to do that, guys, we can't do it without without mining. We've got to mine. We've got to do our stuff. Got some Thorncraft uh, shards here. We've got to mine. We've got to go through all this stuff to get the uh, materials to be able to do, you know, do some more stuff. So that's what we're doing right now. Found some iron, by the way. Good stuff. We need it. We do need it. Yeah, we need no. a lot of it. Why is there a random... Pi there was one random cobble block. Uh, it may have been me that placed it there. I wouldn't get rid of it because it's probably a marker or something telling me that you know that's the way out or something. Like no, that. when I got rid of it, it was at a dead end. Just one. Cobble it may block. have been me building up. I'm not quite. I don't. Know. I haven't got a clue. To be honest, I just realised I've got no torches. Then, yeah, but... 
I've got zero torches. I've got eleven. Just realised this. I've got tons of silver though. Stack and a half on that little bit of silver in there. Wait, hang on a minute. I, w I went past. I went totally past some blue ore. And I don't know what I can't remember what that is. It's here. Look, it's here. The titanium um, textures have gone it's again as well. Titanium. By the way, titanium lead ore. That's what it was. Titanium. Oh no, you have to press F3 and T. It always does that at the same time, and it will reset the textures, and then it comes back. It's fine, honestly. I don't know what it is, but it just seems to be that mod all the time that does that, and um, I've tried saying something to the mod author, and so have many other people, but it doesn't seem to be our problem, apparently, so. Oh, my Minecraft crashed. No, it will actually stop, don't worry. It looks like it's crashed, but oh, just, okay. just wait it out. It will, go, uh, yeah. yeah, it will sort itself out. Back now. Lots of coal. Lots of coal. What's this stuff here? Ooh, and by the way, uh, when we yep. get, um, what do you call it? Forestry backpacks. Yep. You know them stuff that hold stuff in? Yeah. Uh, Fallion, which is, what's his face? Nico has done yeah. a really, really good job on the configs of that one to make sure that all the ores that's practically involved with SolidCraft are placeable within the backpacks. Oh, good stuff. And he's also been working on the mob drops. Yeah. As well for the hunter's backpack. And he's also done the configs for the sword mod, which has like been literally just added. Do you know that pedestal thing? Which I would yeah. get to I would certainly get to showing the guys on YouTube this, I tell you something. This it is great. Cracking. It's absolute it just looks like visually it. Awesome, and it's not that expensive to make one of them things either. Are they not? No, three, uh, three smooth stone slabs, and a gold ingot. Okay. That's it. That's practically it. Ooh, give me that shit. Give me that stuff. Some this hamster of yours is doing my head in, by the way. I can't hear it on the thingy. By the way. You can. No, I can't. Well, it's I can't hear it. In. I can't hear it through. But um. Well, we'll sort we'll we'll sort that out soon. Sort that out soon. I don't want to sound inhumane on camera, so we'll sort that out soon. <laughs> no, what it is is um, there's there should be. Oh crap! I've just run out of um, pick. Been that busy just mining away. I've just run out of pick. But yeah, there's a, a little bit of paper that you can just stick in its wheel while we're recording. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty annoying. A fucking hamster. It wasn't even my idea to buy the fucking thing either. It was Mrs. Kerry. She decided it was a great idea to get the kids an hamster. And I says, well, you're looking after it then. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I look after it. Bullshit. Bullshit! I've had to do half the fucking work with that thing. I tell you. I'm the one feeding it. I'm the one pissing water in it half the time. I'm not just going to sit there and let it die, you know what I mean? That's not very fair. Not, is it really, let's be honest. No. On the way back, I'm going to get some, uh, some sap. Or some resin, as, as other people like to call it. Normal people like to call it resin. I like to call it sap. Jesus Christ, yet I've just realised it's raining, and I'm on 30 frames a second still. Holy huh? crap. That's the new graphics card for you right there. It's obviously doing something. And I've got no Indeed. food. Running out of food. Oh, I found some of your stuff. Stuffs. What? What? What, um, what is stuffs? Wyvite. That's the word I was looking you for. You found Wyvite. That is ledge. That's good stuff. That I like Wyvite. Let's put some of this in there. Put some of the coal in there. Sort of, oh, I do. I just so happen to have a gold ingot on my person as well. So I think I might use one of them to show these guys the awesomeness that is this uh, this new mod yeah, that's that. in my pack at the minute. Um, resin. No, that needs to go in the extractor, doesn't it? Uh, okay, we've got we gold ingots an extractor here. Yet, One, two, three. 
six stone slabs. Right, here we are, guys. This is called the sword pedestal block. And you can see it's three stone slabs all along the bottom of the crafting table, or the middle, depends where you want to wanna go go with that. And a golden ingot, or a gold ingot, as it's normally called, in the middle above the three stone slabs. And then we've got a sword pedestal block. Now this thing is great, isn't it, Shadow? This is great. Yeah, no, it, it visually it does look very 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 nice. Let's just Oh, that's the wrong way around. <laughs> Whoopsie. Well played. Whoopsie! Good start. Good well, start. you would have thought when you place it, it's going to place it the other way around, but apparently not, so... That's fine. Not a not a pro, bro. Oh, I've got no iron. That is a pro, bro. I've got some on me. Some, well, some ore, obviously. Yeah, I've just put some ore in the uh, thing in my bobbers as well, so... We'll get Pressure. there. We'll get there. No, I've just put some ores in the chest. I haven't quite got enough, you know, far enough for the crusher yet. Uh, it looks to see if it wants to actually place the other way. Oh no, it just looks as if it automatically places that way. You can't do it any other way. I'm confused. So, uh, well, you, I can't place it on a certain axis. It always faces the same way, if you know what I mean. Okay. To say, say for example, I've got, I've, got, I've, got, I've got four walls all around me. It will only butt up to two walls. The other two, it will look very strange. Okay. I'll you'll see when see, I come yeah, back. Yeah, you'll see when I come back. Uh. Right, this, guys, this is a sword pedestal. This is amazing. Now, you can't do anything by just right-clicking. You've got to shift and right-click. And this will open this little thing here. Now, you can choose to put a sword in here by putting it in there. Or, if we come out of there, you can right-click on it with your sword. And it will place the sword in the hole, just like that. And you can leave it like that. That's just like, just like, just like that. And you can leave it like that. It'll be absolutely fine. Or you can just right-click it, stick it out. Much easier. Very easy. But right-click it, guys. You can do certain things to, uh, to, to this pedestal. So, let us make it, I don't know, like a big green beam or something like that going up into the air. So we've got these little sliders on the right hand side here. We can enable them so that you can now see that if we come out of there, it's now got a big green beam and that will actually go out of the house as well. Oh no it won't. I thought it would have been. But no it's stopped by the wooden block there. It must be. Okay. Um, so <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, you can also set it to float. So in other words we can enable it to to float above the actual pedestal itself, just like that. Oops, I've took it out. I didn't want to take it out. Um, we can also set it to rotate. Now, you can actually disable rotating to use. And I don't quite know what that means, actually. Um, the speed of rotation you can do here. So, fast rotation there. even faster rotation there or pretty slow rotation get in pretty sl slowish rotation there and I think that this looks particularly brilliant I love the look of this thing let's get rid of that um, beam of light because I don't particularly like the beam of light but I do like the fact that you come in come in from a hard day's mining and there's Excalibur you know what I mean? <laughs> just staring at you in the face. It's just brilliant. It's an absolutely brilliant. And the good thing is that uh, Ryan, which is part of the Air Stocky team, has actually created an add on mod for this that okay. um, usually you would only be able to use um, vanilla swords. You wouldn't be able to use any mod swords. But Ryan created a uh, customizer, which basically just creates like a config file in your configs that you can then set certain item IDs like the swords for example um, and it will autom automatically place those item IDs into the slots for the sword so all these mod swords that I've got involved in my pack as you can see if I can actually spell sword right all these different swords here w that we've got actually do fit within this uh, list little thing here and I think that's brilliant now I actually want my sword so I'm going to take that back but it's a lovely little addition. 
Now, anybody who was around for Solid Shakaf 4 and Solid Shakaf 3, I think, as well, had a mod called Tool Rack. I've tried as I might to, to try and get that mod updated to 1.4.5. It isn't. I think the mod author himself has just given up on modding totally. Uh, well, not given up on modding really, but just given up on that particular mod. Which is a real shame because I loved the Tool Rack mod. I loved it. It was absolutely brilliant. It just it just gave you that place where you could just hang your tools up instead of putting them in a chest. And it made your house look a little bit more complete. Do you know what I mean by that? Chad? You, yeah. You know what I mean by that? It's yeah, just, just having sort of stuff hanging around. Yeah, that's what I mean. And it just made it look more lived in. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's a real, real shame to lose that mod. But uh, I've tried as I might to try and update it. Apparently somebody... Um, who updates quite a lot of mods that have been abandoned um, is going to pick that up but it's a question of w uh, when is going to get time to be able to do this mod but real shame I tried to do it myself but it was I, I just couldn't I really couldn't do it so I need some food shed I really need some food fella right, let's get some two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine no just eight will do quite nicely um, any no. Oh, we do have some smooth stone in there. Oh, and we uh, we enabled extra bees on the server as well. Oh yeah. yeah. I forgot about that. We enabled extra bees. Oh, I've got a power furnace there. I can't do anything with. So we've got we've got extra bees back. And I I I mean I do love extra bees. The amount of the uh, videos I've done on extra bees, I really do love extra bees. I've got to say. I've got to say. Is there any particular mod within this mod pack shed that you uh, you enjoy? That I enjoy? Yes. I don't know, I struggle to get used to the basic mods in Minecraft to be fair. Yeah, well, that's the thing, you don't uh, you're not really round much to uh, you know deal with all the uh, you know, all the all the mods as as often as what I do. I could swear we put down that generator and stuff. We didn't, did we? No. Yeah. Uh, I really need an extractor for this resin. Now you do know about that, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Extractor. Yeah. We've got to compress it. You have, or you had, a um, generator. Did you not? Is it the precious blocks chest? Precious blocks. Precious no, items. Ah, oh, cuss no, it. Puff cheeks. Puff cheeks. Yeah. Puff cheeks. Puff no. cheek blocks. No. no. Not having it. Precious blocks. Oh yeah, let's get some of this steak down. Oh, nom nom, smegging nom nom. That's what it is. This bloody rain just will not let up at all. Don't come above ground, Jed. It's mad. Tell the. Okay, so we're, we're gonna have the <laughs> generator there, ball. and we're gonna have the extractor right there. There is a reason for this, and that's because I want a bat box right there with the extension maybe of another back box just right there otherwise we may end up um, without power for a long while while we try and get solar panels up on the go because of course Greg Tech changes all that generators I extractors need, to way out of this place. Stuck in the need some mine. copper cables I would love to help you out but uh, I'm at home right now chilling I'm being sniped by a skelly well, you won't lose your stuff on death anymore, so it's not so scary. <laughs> Which is good. I mean, I like it, I've got to say. I do like the fact that I'm not going to lose anything. Right, one, two. I think we can get away with just two, can't we? Yeah, I think we can. Copper cables for the generator to the extractor, because I want the extractor to create me some more rubber. I don't want to be wasting this sticky resin that I'm putting into my furnace all the time just to get one rubber. Now, for guys, for you guys, and you probably already know this already, but for you guys that are not familiar with how I record, I'm going to be sat here just recording 